Welcome to Abiding Presence Ministries for Divine Worship on the 20th Sunday of the Christian Year. Our celebrant will be Bishop William Cavins, who's assisted by Deacon Chris Larson. The intention for today's celebration is for the safety of students and teachers. Our entrance hymn is number 622, We Praise You, O God. to the voice of the heavenly host united in song praising your majesty praising your glory alleluia alleluia holy is god holy and strong alleluia alleluia holy immortal one For Christ, sing of your goodness and faith. Your beams of your infinite love, your splendor and light. Praising your majesty, praising your glory. Alleluia, alleluia. Holy is God, holy and strong. Alleluia, alleluia. Holy Immortal One. Jesus Christ, your death brings us a life. Come with your judgment and grant us a place in the kingdom of God, at one with your saints, praising your majesty, praising your glory. Alleluia, alleluia. Holy is God, holy and strong, Alleluia, Alleluia, Holy Immortal One. Lord, grant us salvation, protect us from harm, free us from evil, bless us with mercy. Daily in you we trust and we hope, Praising your majesty, praising your glory, Alleluia, Alleluia. Holy is God, holy and strong, Alleluia, Alleluia. Holy In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And also with you. My and brothers and sisters, as we gather on this, the 20th Sunday, we are mindful that the Church calls us to consider the precious gift of the Eucharist in our lives. For those times when we have walked away from the Eucharist, those times when we have separated ourselves from Christ, let us ask for God's pardon and forgiveness. 
I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned, greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most previous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the Church, may God grant you pardon and peace, and I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For your one holy one, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory, the glory of God. Almighty and ever-living God, your care extends beyond the boundaries of race and nation to the hearts of all who live. May the walls which prejudice raises between us crumble beneath the shadow of your outstretched arms. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us be attentive. A reading from the book of the Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven columns. She has dressed her meat, mixed her wine. Yes, she has spread her table. She has sent out her maidens. She calls from the heights out over the city. Let whoever is simple turn in here. To the one who lacks understanding, she says, come, eat of my food and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness that you may live, advance in the way of understanding. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, watch carefully how you live, not as foolish persons, but as wise, making the most of the opportunity, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not continue in ignorance, but try to understand what is the will of the Lord. And do not get drunk on wine, in which lies debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and playing to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks always and for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Deacon, may the Lord God be upon your mind, upon your heart, upon your lips as you worthily proclaim his gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is the flesh of the life of the world. The Jews clawed among, among themselves, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I tell and say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day, for my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father had sent me, and I have life because of my Father, and so the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread, will live forever. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe our sins away. <clears throat> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> now, you may think the bishop's gone off his nut here. <laughs> but today, we're all like a bunch of cows. You see, the church, for the third time in a row, is directing our attention to this gospel about the bread of life. Much like cows, who they get a mouthful of food, they chew it, they swallow it, and it goes into their first stomach. Then they bring it back, and they chew on their cud a bit more, swallow it, bring it back, and chew on it some more, and swallow it to the second stomach where it then goes into give nutrients to their bodies. So it is that in this year of Mark, for the last three Sundays, we have heard this discourse by John on the bread of life. So the church is wanting us <clears throat> to remind us that, <clears throat> excuse me, that we need to hear this word munch on it, digest it, internalize it within us so that we understand fully how this bread of life is what sustains us in our daily living. I was speaking with Gene a few moments before our celebration started and he was commenting on the book of Proverbs, how wisdom to those that lack understanding only has one word to say. But then to the other, she explains about, come on in, eat and drink, you know, I've got everything ready. And I think that's an example for us of several things. First of all, we don't have to be extremely learned to be invited to table. We may not fully understand the mystery of Christ in the breaking of the bread and of the wine. 
but we're still invited to turn in here. And wisdom explains a little further. Come eat of my bread, drink of my wine. So it's further explaining as we come to understand we should have this desire to always eat and drink of what God has provided. I want to take a little sidestep here for a moment and say, please pay attention to wisdom. Wisdom is another name for God. And in the book of wisdom, God is portrayed in the feminine stance. So our God is both male and female, both aspects that we see in our own creation of male and female in this world. So just a sidestep there. But we continue then where Paul is also admonishing us on how to live our lives. And that centered in the Eucharist, you and I should be sharing with each other inspiration. In our prayer lives, with psalms and inspired singing in our hearts, but also in our relationship with each other, we're called upon to positively reinforce what we're trying to achieve in making God's love known and surrendering our will to that of Christ. Unlike some who would say it's our business as Christians to make sure that everybody does what we tell them to do, it's the reverse. We should be telling ourselves what to do and showing others how God loves us and them. But it brings us back then to John's gospel and what Christ has to say to us today. And in his discourse to us, he starts referencing the Father. He's telling us about this Trinitarian aspect of his divinity. And we echo that in our liturgies. I want to talk to you particularly about the great doxology and the great amen at the end of every Eucharistic, uh, Eucharistic prayer. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Trinitarian aspect. And I would ask you to consider today, through Christ, that first part of that. Are you and I confident enough in our faith to say that we live our lives through Christ, through the grace that Christ gives to us in the Eucharist, that you and I are people of faith and ready to live that faith out. In Christ. Living a life in Christ. This is where we start putting our faith into practice. Where we immerse ourselves into Christ's mission among the people of God. It doesn't happen overnight. We have to go on a journey sometimes. And our journey really isn't finished until we're called home. But on our journey, as we learn more and more about Christ's love, for us, 
as we internalize that love, we start changing ourselves. We start living a life that not only is faith-filled, but it also is prayer-filled with Christ. We walk side by side. Helps us out through that reception of Eucharist. That lets us know that you and I are not alone. That's why it is very important as we come down to that, through that Eucharistic prayer and you hear that great doxology. The next word is so important and that word doesn't belong to the priest celebrating the Eucharist. It belongs to all of the faithful people of God. And that word is amen. It is often referred to as the great amen. Because that is your acknowledgement that what has been done by the priest is in truth an actual fact. It has been accomplished. It's also your pledge to live through, with, and in Christ. May we all live our lives in such a manner that we can rejoice one day in the physical presence of our God. Let us profess our faith by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, eternal, almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Redeemer of all, the only begotten one, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, lived and loved among us, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, who descended into hell, and on the third day rose from the dead. Jesus, our Savior, ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of the loving God, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. We are a people called together to eat and to be transformed by Jesus, the living bread called to be sent as disciples and servants into our communities. We take a moment in Christ's name to lift up our needs and the needs of others to a God who loves us. Our responses, Senor Oenos, grant our prayer. Senor Oenos, grant our prayer. <laughs> the church, that the church will grow strong, stronger as a sacrament of unity each time we meet and share the life-giving bread, who is Jesus. Lord, we pray, Senor, Oenos, grant our prayer. The leaders of nations, that all consultations, decisions, and discussions, they seek the path of wisdom. Lord, we pray, Senor, Oenos, grant our prayer. The people who don't have enough food for themselves or their families, that their hunger be satisfied, that communities work together to ensure people have enough food. Lord, we pray. Senor, Senor Oye Nos, grant our prayer. People who are facing terminal illness, that they may be listened to and accompanied by loving companions, filled with a sense of gratitude for their life and hope of eternal peace in Christ. Lord, we pray. Senor, Senor Oye Nos, grant our prayer. For our Christian community, 
that we imitate the beautiful and loving qualities of Mary in our daily lives as we seek to live out Christ's mission. Lord, we pray. Senor, Senor oi nos, nos grant our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those in danger of death, especially Father Bon, Father Bob Janini, may they be comforted by God's abiding presence. Lord, we pray. Senor, Senor oi nos, nos grant our, our prayer. prayer. For those for whom we grieve, especially Eileen Critchfield, that they be in peace and the loving arms of Christ. Lord, we pray, Senor, join us, grant our prayer. For an end to the COVID-19 pandemic, that the vaccines will continue to prove to be successful against all the variants, that all those people respond to the call to be vaccinated. Lord, we pray, Senor, join us, grant our prayer. For our own needs, for those who stand in need of prayer and have no one to pray for them, for those who have asked for our prayers, especially those who remember now. Lord, we pray, Senor, Senor oye nos, grant our prayer. God of all nations, you invite us all to the table of life where all, where all are family and no one is stranger. Extend, we pray, to all peoples the joy of salvation and faith. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The offertory hymn is number 807, here at this table.
pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the, our almighty creator. May the waters of the sacrifice the praise and glory of God's name for our good and good of all the church. Lord, accept our sacrifice as a holy exchange of gifts. By offering what you have given us, may we receive the gift of yourself. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. No, also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. And it's right, right. to give God the thanks and praise. All powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. By Jesus' birth, we are reborn. In Christ's suffering, we are free from sin. By Christ rising from the dead, we rise to everlasting life. In Jesus' return to you in glory, we enter into your heavenly kingdom. And so we join the angels and the saints as they sing their unending hymn of praise. creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your child, Jesus Christ our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit. From age to age you gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Lord God, we humbly pray, by the power of your Spirit, sanctify these gifts we have brought before you, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was handed over to death, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this all of you and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When the supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Great is the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess our resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Calling to mind, Lord God, the death that your child endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and eagerly awaiting the day of Christ's return, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and see the victim by whose sacrifice you were pleased to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. Let us make an everlasting gift to you, that we may share in the inheritance of your saints, 
with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. William of York, and all your saints on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice, which has made our peace with you, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, your servants, the patriarchs of the East and of the West, our, me, your unworthy bishop, and all bishops, priests, and deacons, all ministers of your church, and the entire people your son has gained for you. Merciful creator, hear the prayers of the family who have gathered here before you, and unite to yourself all your children now scattered over the face of the earth. Welcome into your kingdom, our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have left this world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy with, with them your everlasting glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you give the world everything that is good. Through Christ, with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, a glory and honor is yours, almighty creator, forever and ever. United as the children of God around this table, we dare to pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father. And Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we just none to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from all sin and anxieties. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. Let us now give each other a sign of some peace. Peace be with you, Deacon. Peace be with you. With you. Peace be with all of you at home. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his table. Lord, I am not ready to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be May the body and blood of Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
our act of spiritual communion. At your feet, O oh my Jesus, I prostrate myself and I offer you the repentance of my contrite heart, which is humbled in its nothingness and in your holy presence. I adore you in the sacrament of your love, the ineffable Eucharist. I desire to receive you into this poor dwelling that my heart offers to you. While waiting for the happiness of sacramental communion, I wish to possess you in spirit. Come to me, O oh my Jesus, since I for my part am coming to you. May your love embrace my whole being, both in life and in death. I believe in you. I hope in you. I love you. Amen. The table is prepared. Come, eat, and drink. Our communion hymn is number 810, Bread for the World. Before the world, a world of hunger, I'm for our people.
hymn of thanksgiving is number 432. Be joyful, Mary. sacrament you make us one with Christ by becoming more like him on earth may we come to share his glory in heaven where he lives and reigns forever and ever amen, amen. thank you for joining with us today for our celebration of divine worship the next two Sundays Bishop excuse me I just promoted you Deacon Deacon Chris <laughs> <laughs> will be <laughs> From my mouth to God's ears, Deacon. <laughs> <laughs> the deacon will be uh, leading you in this celebration, a Sunday celebration of the absence of a priest. Next weekend, I have a family weekend. Uh, that I'll be down with my grandchildren as we celebrate their birthday, so I will not be with you. The following week, I'm going to have the pleasure of visiting with Bishop Bernie Sheffield down at... Uh, his parish in Port St. Lucie. So um, I will be gone those two weeks. The following week, we'll be coming to you from Little Gasparo Island for the celebration of Labor Day. And then by the time you see us again here, this is going to look a little different from the way it looks today. You can see we've already taken down the drapery that used to hung here, hang here. Um, but in addition to the statue of Our Lady and the icon of the Virgin of Vladimir, we have an icon of Our Lady of Einzelden, patroness of the Swiss Kesmis Monastery in St. Minard, Switzerland, as well as St. Minard, Indiana. We have an icon of St. Clare of Assisi, who is uh, known for her devotion to the Blessed Sacrament. We have an icon of St. Minard, again, the patron saint of the, where I went to seminary, and St. William of York and St. Joseph. But uh, things are going to look a little differently here uh, in about three weeks. So um, tune in and see what's changed. I want to extend sincere gratitude to um, three individuals who have underwritten our cost of our podcast license so that you can hear music to enrich our divine worship on uh, these celebrations. Uh, that fee has been paid in full. Now, there's always another something. Um, we have our renewal coming up for our Zoom license, and that's $149. So uh, we're going to be hearing about that. The bulletin is posted already online. I know I'm trying to get a little better at getting it there for you, so you don't have to wait till Tuesday to read it. But go ahead on, online to abidingpresenceministries.com and take a look at our bulletin there. Again, thank you for joining us. I hope that you have a wonderful week. Stay safe. If you're not vaccinated, please, please consider getting that inoculation. The Lord be with you.
And also with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The message ended. We're going to go and worship God and each other. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 118. Daniel 3, glory and praise forever.